What's up, YouTube? Hope everybody's having a good day. I've been kind of busy. I uh, recently started a new job, so um, I'm still going to try and do videos at least once a week. Hopefully, on the weekend, <laughs> if I'm able to. But uh, first of all, I'd like to thank my buddy Woody again for coming out and helping me out. Uh, true lifesaver. True friend. It's truly appreciated. Okay, now... Uh, point of this video is we were watching a scout crafter video um, I'll leave a link to his channel um, either at the end of this video or in the description but he's doing a scout crafter short handled hammer challenge so what we're gonna do is we're gonna adjust you guys and girls So we have this little ball peen made by Thomas & Co. I'll uh, put whatever information I can find on it. And we should be able to save the name once we go to cleaning this up. But I'll leave a, a link to his video up here. And you can see what he did and his reasoning behind it. But this handle is pretty wrecked. So we're going to shorten this probably to somewhere around here. Then we'll clean up the head, then we'll remount it. Well, we'll clean up the handle and stuff while it's off. Then we'll remount it and uh, make it a good little user hammer. Right now I'm scared to use it because it's cracked and busted. So if you could take a minute, uh, click down on the bottom, subscribe, like, comment at the end, all that good stuff. It's truly appreciated. And we'll get right to it. Okay, so I'm just gonna cut it to where it's all split. This is a little overkill, but I broke the blade on my other saw, so. That would have been easier, but uh, that's a metal blade. It's not made for wood. Then we'll clean this up once we get it remounted. So yeah, that'll be a perfect little little user. I don't see a metal wedge in there. We'll, maybe we'll just try and pound it out. Perfect. Yeah, that was pretty well, pretty well split up and broken. We'll take this over to the wire wheel. We'll go through the whole process with it.
what we got to do is hang the handle. I made a little wedge out of a, it's a hardwood. I think it's cherry. We'll see how that works. Hopefully it goes in there good. To do this, you don't you don't pound on the hammer. You pound on the bottom. See how far it went down? I'm gonna have to cut that off before I can get a wedge in it. Should be good. Let me cut this off and then we'll try and get a wedge in there. Okay, so we cut that off. I don't know if this wedge is going to work or not. I might have to make like a metal one. Hmm. I think the handle is harder than my wedge. Okay, yeah, let's try this again. I put a little slit in it with a saw. I still don't know if it's going to work. I don't know if this is going to work or not, but we're going to try it. I have these thick Exacto knife blades. They're like scraper blades. And it's almost the perfect size. So we're going to put that in there. Go down, oh, probably about an inch. Pretty close to the, close to this edge. And we'll try that. If it doesn't work, we'll fix it later. Should work though. I don't see why not. I saw a scout crafter do it a different way. He did it like this. I don't know if that'll work because it's not an actual wedge. So we're just going to give it a little tappy tap tap. A little tappy tap tap. Hope for the best. So after much fighting, cursing, deliberation, uh, I was finally able to get a wedge in there. I'm going to order some real wedges. Um, making wedges sucks. So I'll order like a various assortment. But I think it turned out pretty good. Nice little, uh, nice little uh, hammer. Let's take a look and see. I can't have anything clean, you know. Nothing's clean. My garage is so covered in dust from the sanding that it's ridiculous. We didn't do anything too fancy with it. Cleaned up the handle, sanded it down. Um, used some uh, linseed oil. Cleaned up the head pretty good. It's not like a mirror finish. But it's pretty good. I think it's awesome. Feels pretty good in the hand. It'll work for like little cabinetry jobs and stuff. You know, working on little stuff. You're not gonna put a 16 penny in with it. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> just uh, cut this one off here. Hopefully, it's a short one. Um, I didn't want to make it too long of a video. So, Scout Crafter, thanks for the challenge. 
Appreciate it. Hopefully you like it. You enjoy. It's just a little guy. If I still had kids, I'd give it to one of them. <laughs> but uh, if you could, comment, subscribe, like, all that stuff down at the bottom. Um, I'll put a link to Scout Crafter's channel down at the bottom. Check him out if you're not already subbed. And uh, leave him a sub. And we'll see you on the next one.